Right here, Ron. Now we're in, in my solar panel battery room, and uh, uh, I'm doing a bit of maintenance on the batteries, or rather one of them, uh, because I'm not sure if I ever mentioned it in the video, but uh, uh, all of these uh, uh, semi-old power safe batteries, a lot of them have issues where uh, electrolyte will start leaking out uh, uh, underneath these uh, little bus bar connection thingies. They have the terminals uh, re recessed here and uh, metal block going out to provide the actual connection. And uh, this one has started to leak quite badly. And uh, I don't remember whether or not I actually ever serviced it. I did it on a random selection of them, the ones which had issues when I got them. And uh, yeah, quite a lot of them have started to get some bad issues again. You can see that one's starting to eat away the copper, but it's not really that bad. It doesn't take much electrolytes at all to uh, cause copper to go green, so I'm not too bothered. But this one, as you can see, has a lot of uh, actual fluid coming out of it. So. Now I'm going to see if there's anything I can do about it uh, just to prevent it from going worse and I, I seem to have had reasonable success just uh, putting some electrical connection gel stuff around here to just kind of uh, tighten everything up and prevent leakage so I'm going to do the same on this I'm, again I'm not certain if I've ever done it but I've disconnected it and I've uh, of course turned off a breaker to this uh, a section of battery so it's not uh, hot so to speak and it should just uh, slide out. Uh, if we have a look there, and from the top it really doesn't look too bad and it seems that someone's at some stage put some gel on there but uh, yeah I'm not certain if that's my doing so let's just uh, wrench this apart and see if there's anything we can do about it. Alright, I managed to undo the screws. I've probably been in here before since they weren't super tight and I know the place I got these from had a very bad habit of very gruesomely over tightening these screws and I think that's what's uh, caused this leakage issue to begin with. But anyway, let's just lift this out and see. Hmm. That actually looks relatively dry. I can see some moisture in there but that's not anywhere near as wet as I expected it to be. Not anywhere near. So I think we was a part of this in time. I'm not certain how the fluid's actually gotten down there. Not sure at all. Is it coming from that one? No. Well that's a bit mysterious. I would have expected these to be very badly corroded if uh, there's just that amount of liquid coming out, but really these look relatively okay, and I think I've... It looks as if I've cleaned this one before, since you can see the copper down there. That's weird. And I'm just gonna clean this up again and eh, reassemble it, I suppose. Hmm, come to think of it, this might actually be my cleaning solution. Uh, so I've got a little bit of baking soda on this toothbrush and let's see if it fizzles. Yeah, it fizzles. So this is definitely electrolytes, not a cleaning solution. No, that's too dry to fizzle. Hmm. That's weird, I wonder where that's coming from. Well, that all cleaned out uh, quite well with some uh, bicarbonate solution. So, I really haven't been able to spot any obvious leaks on this uh, battery, but uh, something which struck me was that I did uh, basically drop one of these batteries while taking it in. It fell off the cart and uh, almost crushed me underneath it. And I think this might be the one because it's not going to show up on camera, but it's got some scuff marks along the side here and did kind of drop on a corner. So. That might explain, there might be a bit of a leak down here actually, or something like that. So, I guess we'll find out. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just uh, apply a very rich uh, amount of Contiene Grosso Antiacido per Accumulatore by Fiam, another battery manufacturer. So, 
Well, that's done. I really, if I just grease this up really well, uh, I think it's going to keep it quite sealed in. So, I'll just uh, put that back together. Bit of an issue doing that one-handed, so, sorry. Alright, we go. Very generously applied. Plus, I, need, I really love this uh, Fiamme uh, contact grease stuff, because it seems to be kind of a wax-like substance, and it... You, I can't be too certain, but it feels as if it's just going to really stick down and prevent any leakage along its path. So, let's just smoosh these down. Yeah, that's making a good seal. The general mechanical build quality of these batteries has been quite good, I must say. They use stainless steel screws for everything and nuts and bolts too. Although, sadly, since they have been over talked, a lot of them have They've seen better days. You do get a specification as opposed to be torqued down to 10 Newton meters, and I actually use a torque wrench when mating most of these batteries, but yeah, right now I don't have a time to say. Well, that's good enough. I'm quite certain the previous owner of these did not use a torque wrench. Alright. So now we've just got to wait. I'm going to mark this battery so I know which one it is. And uh, I'll find out in the future whether or not it keeps leaking. Or perhaps if it's leaking there. Given how clean these contacts were on the underside and how generally clean this area was, including the screws, I really don't think they're leaking by the terminals anymore, and they're certainly not going to do that anymore with that amount of grease tucked into every little crevice down there. When these batteries leak by the terminals, it usually turns out like this. This is another battery I've got to give some attention at some stage. But uh, it's it's not too bad when it gets to this state because the corrosion doesn't really go in anywhere. There's still a good electrical connection and mechanical mounting connection as well. So yeah, I know these batteries were in service despite several of these just being kind of turned into one big brownish green mush and they still worked perfectly. Yeah, that's uh, why I've got several which are just uh, stripped down to the copper after I've cleaned them. And, yeah, this one started to leak a bit as well. Yeah, the jaws are used batteries. Lots of these are really good still, though. So, I think the cleaning and the contact greasing I did on these when I got them did serve a good purpose, because, yeah, th this contact has definitely been leaked upon a lot, and it's not leaking anywhere near as much anymore. There we go. I'll hook it back up and mark it up for future reference. So yeah, let's just uh, flip the breaker back on and see what goes up in smoke. Nothing. Back in service. Uh, I really need to get some more solar panels for this stuff. I'm still rocking the two 235 watt panels which I got about a year ago and yeah, they are slightly undersized for this battery bank. Uh, to say the least, I basically need a several kilowatt system in order to utilize this fully, but yeah, funds are limited. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheerio.